not going to talk. This is your conversation with Tavi. I'm not going to talk at all. Sim, first of all, I love it. A, when you talk, number one. Yes. And number three, please talk. I feel like this episode. I love it when you say I feel like. I love it when you start a sentence. <laughs> saying I feel like. Well, we're, we're so lucky and honored to have her here. And I feel like this is a conversation that just you two should have. I don't know games. No outside no fun. rabbit. No, no one will be laughing. No, I want you guys to have no, fun, yeah. but oh. it needs to be just this conversation now, because because you are because she's really fascinating, and everyone in our audience wants they want to hear. They already know about her, obviously, but they want to hear more. Aww. And I feel like if the two of you talk without me interrupting, it's going to make for a better podcast. Sim is episode. scared of women. I think. Oh, I could tell. <laughs> uh, I had no. I got no intimation of that. No. <laughs> Okay, so wait, Tavi, thank you, first of all, so much for being here on this, like, weird, weird ass Sunday. Thank a Sunday, you for like, me. filled with ash and heat here in Los Angeles, and mm. it's odd, but I'm really happy you're here. Thank you. Nowhere I'd rather be. Thank you. Wait a minute. There's got to be a place you might okay. rather as be. As soon as I said that, I knew it was hyperbole. <laughs> no, this is so fun. I don't Already. know any three syllable words like that. <laughs> Wait, that is high purple leap. Four syllables. Yeah, yeah, Fuck. yeah. No, no, no. They're in there. <sighs> they are. Mm -hmm. Where? How do I tap into them? You go to the. De you go to Burning Man. Oh. Okay, wait. Take is that a fantasy? Is that no, a fantasy? I don't think I would do well at Burning Man. Why? I I need a lot of alone. You don't time. like to barter. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, it right? It's all a barter system. That's what I hear. I've never been. But we think oh about the gosh. things we could do. We could bring these candles. We could mm -hmm. bring like that pineapple thing, and we could go to Burning Man, and we wouldn't have to necessarily sell our, our vaginas. Although I think uh -huh. yours would be more worth than mine. Well, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say the one one really bad advertisement I heard for Burning Man from like a I was like at a dinner party not to brag <laughs> and there were there was like a couple there that where they were really trying to sell it to us and they were like it's like a music festival without the music <laughs> like, so just fest all festival. the bad parts yeah, yeah. <laughs> our dear friend kiwi is here yeah. also and she is one of my best friends but that is such a lame thing i w we need to come up with some better words yeah. because <laughs> but um kiwi wrote house bunny um mm -hmm. with uh our other dear friend karen and but we were uh, so you re might remember the gorge of course right so there's this um crazy music uh venue i guess i feel like you might need to put on headphones and come join this yeah please. you need to be part of this yes uh, you have to there's no way we like i i want to talk about a couple of gorge experiences and there's no way that you can I can't continue. Kiwi, you, can just, you can take my mic because I'm not talking. I already said I'm He's not talking. He's scared of women. I'm, I'm afraid of women, apparently, and I'm not going to talk, so you can just take my mic. He is. Okay, so at the Gorge, sorry to make this all about me, but I did try to sell weed, which was rolled up grass. Like, I picked grass <laughs> <laughs> and tried to sell it to these little kids. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't, it didn't work. Their older brother came after me. Oh. For the $10 that I sold the rolled up. When was, how old were you? Oh, God, way too old. <laughs> <laughs> this was on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> closer. This was yeah, on closer. Tuesday. <laughs> but I was just, just thinking about like what I could add of value to a mm. Burning Man. I ju I'm not the personality type. I couldn't handle it. Could you, Kiwi? It's it's too dusty. Mm -hmm. I think there's not enough showering, and I think vegetation. Mm -hmm. It's you know it's dry, and then the whole dust bowl sandstorms thing happens. That seems really stressful. Isn't it? I could only do it in a very high level <laughs> airstream trailer. I think right. If Burning yeah. Man was in like a mansion, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it would work. That for fantastic. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I think that. 
there are those things that sound better than they are. Like you see mm-hmm. these glamorous pictures of Woodstock of these sexy people like skinny and stoned and they're just like I don't know. They they're like in the <laughs> rain but they're in their their bikinis and they're nude or whatever yeah. and they're just like loving the music and for me that would have been like a good 20 minutes. Right. And then the rest of the time I'd be like, I, I, oh God, this is, no. where do I poop? Yeah. I don't know, like what to do. I, right. And then also that guy is actually like, kind of rapey. Me my- <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a lot of underlying, free love was convenient for some and not others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's talk about abortion. <laughs> 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 that, is, that is a good one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sim loves it when I talk about abortion. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so wait. So how do you, do you like LA? What are your thoughts? Huh. Um, I like visiting LA. I mean, I chose it for a vacation, so I clearly, but mostly to go to Big Sur. Um, but I, I have a lot of pals here, and I think being able to like drop in, see my people do the stuff I like to do and then leave is good. But there have been times when I've stayed here for like a month and a half and I go to random soul sucking things that make me be like, Oh, this whole city's terrible. And it's like, well, the whole city isn't like that one house, but places like my house, <laughs> <laughs> but no, but, but I know I don't mean to joke like really. I've, I don't know. What do you mean? Because I'm trying to sort of work this out in my brain too. How mm. much I love. I love elements of the city, but there's also repellent things. Yeah. Is it, is it like somebody's obnoxious party that you? So um, again, a lot of dinner parties, a lot of parties. I'm not trying to say I go to a lot of cool functions, but I do. No, yeah, we've got Tabby here. Good. She's a party animal. <laughs> It's really like the non party animal part of me that like struggles so much. And it, it, it like makes you feel like there's something wrong with you when it's actually like, no, you just don't have to be here. It, which is not to say that I'm like s- even a super thoughtful person. It's just that I can't be my like basic, basic level of thoughtful in a, a large group. You are an incredibly thoughtful person. Thanks. I was hoping. <laughs> I just think, well, okay, earlier we were talking and we were like, save it for when we're recording. But you were like, a lot of people say LA is fake. I don't think it's fake. That is really broad. But I think it's largely image based. And I think it's difficult to like, feel like you're consistently operating on the surface level. Well, we were all talking a little bit earlier, like you just said, about the idea of LA being fake and how I've sort of struggled with that definition a bit because I want to know if a I am fake, Mm -mm. which I kind of think I am. What sort of? What would that even mean? (laughs) I think it means that I I might be comfortably numb. Um, look, life is hard. We all need to numb ourselves. That's why there are like drugs, (laughs) movies, and like things to make us happy. I think though that the surface level can be good sometimes. A lot of people in our industry move here from other places. Mm -hmm. And so there's a hustle and sort of struggling like with the idea of, of, um, how somebody is suddenly of more value to you because they have found success Mm -hmm. than before, you know, like a year ago or whatever, like just, just it, it, how that's in and of itself is, unfortunate but it's also kind of the essence of of what we do because we have to be sort of entrepreneurs or whatever mm-hmm. and we have to sort of figure out well there's like the like imdbification a- of people when you're introducing them like yeah. oh here's this person and here are these credits but then to your point it's like also celebrating their accomplishments like they've managed right. to work their way through and they've actually achieved these things and they have mm-hmm. this body of work behind them but it's also right. can be gross as well. It can be gross, but okay. So I want to let ourselves off the hook because I am yeah. so guilty of being attracted to accomplished, interesting. Of course, they're shiny. Yeah, yeah, and but but there is a valid. There's a grossness to it, but there's also a reality to it that mm-hmm. people who I'm of course drawn to creative, interesting, 
rich, rich, rich. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Girl> on. <laughs> oh, I just want to suck a lot of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I think mommy. <laughs> you said like it's part of the essence of what we do, but I think it's also not. I don't think it's just the essence of this industry. I think it's the essence of America. America, our current celebrity culture, it's like also just very animal and primal to be drawn to the people who seem like they're in the best position and like they'll Mm. survive the longest. But I also think, again, LA being image based, it's like we're in an industry where there isn't really a clear line between the personal and the public. So you can't really know how much you're drawn to someone because of who they are as a person and how much is because of their work, but also a lot of who they are as a person comes into their work, and that's great to respect that and appreciate it, like you said, um, Kiwi. So, I don't... What were you going to (laughs) say? I was going to say, you are so intelligent and well-spoken, but also my eyes were glazing over a little bit because you're Mm. so beautiful. Oh, my God. (laughs) Which makes me maybe the fake... Finally, we get to the real... (laughs) I mean, you have this conversation. Cheekbones till tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Gosh. Okay, let's talk about virginity. (laughs) No, no, no. Abortion. Abortion. (laughs) Yay, back to abortion. Sim loves us. Like, Sim, in his head, he's like, editing, 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 editing. No, but you know what? This is why, like, I think it's good for me to, like, love dissecting it. I think for a while, I would, like, there was a part of me that really felt like I was selling my soul if I found myself, like, getting comfortable on a photo shoot. And to actually be at a point where you're like, all right, there are things I can do that can help my career and give me more freedom to do what I want creatively, et cetera. Plus, also, like, there's vanity there. I can't deny that. But to also be able to take this anthropological point of view but you're right, is, like, the helpful. Acceptance of vanity is something that we've been kind of in- instructed to not do, yet mm-hmm. must do. Like, you have to have a social media profile. <laughs> well, yeah but, yeah, but no, but also thinking about, like, photo shoots and mm-hmm. thinking about, you know, when a photographer is, like, well, look sexy or try to, try to, <laughs> try to look sexy, Anna. <laughs> 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 and I can't do it. I don't know how to make that face, but I know that I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to, like, acknowledge that, that the confusion between sort of acknowledging the idea of vanity but also attempting to dismiss it is really fucking hard shame doesn't help like i i would feel such shame if i was like oh i'm finding myself enjoying this like photo shoot or something i was recently on a a shoot humble brag or just brag brag (laughs) with um grace coddington and i was like oh Oh my god oh i know Uh, like complete icon godmother i want can I book you for a photo shoot? Whatever you want. <laughs> really? <laughs> Please. It's going to be here in my weird fucking dining room. <laughs> Great. That's all I want. All this weird shit that makes no sense. Anyway, okay, so sorry. I didn't no, mean not to. Love I the decor. Not want to use her. The urns are very nice. questions <laughs> about the puppets. <laughs> no, but like, so Grace was like, I was saying like, oh, I used to feel like I was betraying my inner, I don't know, Holden Caulfield, who's really just a cynic. Um, but like, if I enjoyed a photo shoot or if I, and she was like, no, it just makes for a better photo. And I think to some extent as an entertainer, like last night I saw the Muppet movie, <laughs> like it starts with like Kermit on a bog and like this guy being like, you should go to Hollywood and audition. You could make millions of people happy. And he's like, Make millions of people happy. I need a good visual. (laughs) Last night, were you in Palm Springs last night? No, no. I was at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Oh, oh, okay. They were showing it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Ernst, get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ernst. Uh (laughs) Ernst. Ernst. Muppets. It's all coming together. I'm not a great... I'm like a... I'm like Sim. I don't listen. No, uh, please. I will go on and I just, all, The only me. red flag is abortion. That's the only thing I hear. Just like mm-hmm. Sim. Yeah, so I was at the cemetery <laughs> watching abortion, the Muppet movie. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppet movie about abortion. Um, all of this is just to hey, say. Hey, the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, with Jason Segel. <laughs> but it was like, yeah, it was the old one where like, it's a very Faustian setup. Like Kermit's on a bog and a guy's like, you should go become a star. You could make millions of people happy and become rich and famous. But Kermit's like, huh, make millions of people happy. And part of me was like, mm, you don't also want to be rich and famous? Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people want that. But I feel like part of, I don't know, part of just kind of submitting to the, like, I'll be a good entertainer. I'll make this photo shoot fun. I'll, like, I don't know, give the people what they want. You're, like, agreeing to do a kind of watered-down version of who you are, but sometimes it makes people happy. Which mm. also, sadly, also kind of makes me happy, I guess, if other people are happy. Are sure. Happy? Right Am now? I happy? I feel happy Can right I now. make you happy right now? Oh, well, that's okay. abortion. <laughs> <laughs> I know. People pleasing is it's a thing. It is. It's hard. But, but like, I, yeah, go. I think it's gender specific, though, right? I oh, think. for sure. Because Sim does not feel these things. I don't have a mic. I can't say anything. Here. Don't talk. <laughs> Kiwi, what do you think? Do you, do you think it's gender specific, right? Kiwi's a Is writer. She's more know. noble than the rest of us. Sim loves it when I get all my feminist, uh, feminist mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it is gender specific. I, it seems like it is. Yeah. I feel like. Or for the, different reasons, maybe. I do feel like women ask a few more questions than men do. But, mm. You know, and that's a kind of a form of engagement, right? Like asking questions is then. Right. Being like, you get more. I'm going to throw out the line and try to draw you closer to me somehow. Right. But I, I'm also curious about the line between vanity and self esteem, too. Like, oh, it right. seems. Yeah. How do you navigate that? Like love of self versus a little bit is good or, or a healthy amount is good. But then when is it too much? Mm -hmm. What but, does it all mean? So uh, for me, Ugh. well, uh, I guess. So I, I think that the reason why photo shoots, not that I have that many, but make <laughs> me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, that's true. I do have a lot. <laughs> Everyone's asking to check my picture. <laughs> but, but I think that actually the, the direct action of looking into camera right. as opposed to playing a character, when you, as an actor you're taught to never look into the camera. You're playing a character. You're mm. supposed to not be imagine yourself being viewed. And then... Uh, so a photo shoot is sort of in direct conflict with that whole philosophy. Right. And mm -hmm. so the idea of actually looking into camera and presenting a version of yourself that's direct where you're looking into the lens of somebody who is, you know, who's shaping you is right. totally unnerving for me. The last couple photo shoots I did <gasps> last week. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> I was like, hey, photographer. <laughs> His name was Stefan. <laughs> Both times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, give me a character. Who do I play? Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I need, I need, I need something yeah. to... Well, that was one thing Grace said, too. Where she was like, actors hate photo shoots. She was like, models, they're fine, but actors don't like it. And, I, and it is interesting because actors are comfortable being in front of camera or an audience on stage or whatever, but that you're hidden. It's not you. You can get out all of your shit or whatever, but I would say that celebrity is the closest thing we have to, like, a unanimous god at mm. this point in history. Yep. Like, people used to believe, people used to be more religious, and then there came true love, where people believed in, like, a soulmate, and the family, and a nuclear family, and now I think it's, like, people worship celebrities, and they also worship the celebrity in themselves, and everyone has mm -hmm. their own little magazine of themselves, like, on Instagram or Twitter. Do you want to see my magazine? <laughs> yeah, not for you, Bobby. You're you're really in touch oh, with. Sim's talking. I'm wait, talking. I'm sorry. Actually, I I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Wait, oh. no, sorry, Sim. I'm so I didn't curious. mean to cut you off, but I do want to hit. I want to pretend to be a dude at a bar hitting on Tavi. At okay, some point. <gasps> I'm gonna. I'm never gonna talk again. Go. <laughs> Okay. But Sim, I want to know Sim's question. Yeah, I know. Me too. I know. No, I, I, I don't, I don't even remember at this point. Abusive, I would much <laughs> rather. I would much rather see that interplay. Seriously, go. My question is not that important. It's important. I'll, I'll talk to her afterwards. She's going to be really hard to win over, though. She's very <laughs> smart. She's very attractive. Well, let's see what happens. You got this. You got this. I don't know, man. I don't and she know. has this too. <laughs> 
I have faith in both of you. Okay, wait. So you and I, we're we're bros, right? We're hanging out. Yes. I see this hot girl. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, check out that little fucking hottie. (laughs) Yellow shirt. Uh, I think she's looking at you. I think she's looking at you right now. No, seriously, don't, 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 don't look over. Don't stop, stop. You're gonna fucking blow it. Don't look over. I'm not gonna fucking blow this. Just don't. don't. She, I know, I know, she's looking at you. Do not turn your head. But I know. All right, all right. You're gonna go talk to her. Do it, do it. You yeah, got this. Hey, can I borrow like a couple, like twenty? So, can buy so, so you can buy her a drink and have a credit card. Dude, man, you know like the shit I've gone through. Right, right. yeah, just fucking take the money. Just go, <laughs> go talk to her. Hey, hi. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. It's pretty crazy in here tonight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You're uh, Leo. Taurus. I knew it. I knew that you were like of fire. You know, I could tell. You got fire behind your eyes, you know. That's cool, bull. <laughs> so, uh, what sort of uh, brings you around here? I'm just out with some friends. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've got some friends too. Uh, but <laughs> this is crazy. Man, the craziest shit happened today. I hope you don't mind if I unload on you. Uh, I do mind. I'm I'm here with some friends. <laughs> My mom died today. I'm God. so sorry. I'm really bummed out. Yeah, it's it's been a really horrible thing and I, I don't know, I saw like behind your eyes like I don't know, maybe you could understand something. I don't know. But maybe not. Um was Can it sudden? You? Kinda, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty sudden car accident. Oh my yeah. god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, it really fucking sucks. Kind of oh. sucks dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, I didn't introduce myself because I actually I'm kind of elusive. Oh. I'm also a Taurus, though. When's your birthday? <laughs> March seventh. May May So you were not seduced <laughs> by this horrible man. <laughs> March was a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> not even with the sob story. Oh, you're very ready, not you're ready, sexy. Oh, she's going to be ready to go home with you because you just told her that your mom died in a car accident it, earlier today? <laughs> and she's going to be ready to just go home with you and give you a sympathy fuck because your mom... Dude, people say that, Sim. Yeah. You know, dude, I, I where, friend, where's no, your I don't name? I, ever say that. Well, I, no guy would ever say that. Guys do, guys do avoid calling you back by saying that their dad recently... Died. Died or got You sick. know what? Died. Someone was mad at me the other night. These guys came up to us on the street and they were like really drunk and they were, they ostensibly asked like where they could go to pick up chicks. And my friend was like, oh, up and down this block, you'll find lots of places. It's a Friday night. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. So, uh, where are you from? And she was like, I'm Tavi, from- I, I, got, I got, wait, let's, let's reenact this. Oh, okay. I'll be the dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you guys know where uh, we can, I don't know, meet some girls? Um, yeah, you can just go, like, up and down the street. There are lots of bars open right now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That sounds pretty cool. What about you guys? Uh, we're just here with friends. You taking an Uber or something? Or? No, um, we're just... Walking? We're just getting some fresh air. That's cool, that's cool. You guys seem pretty cool, actually. Maybe we could all chill together. I don't know. Um. Okay. Cut. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. This is what, Wait. Oh, oh, I have oh, a Kiwi, conceptual idea. idea. <laughs> Let's reverse. Tavi, now you be the guy and Anna be the girl. <laughs> this is, by the way, Kiwi. That was brilliant because this makes so much more sense. This is because the Tavi is obviously the dude? I don't remember the Gee, last bang. time. I remember the last time Anna was out at a bar. Where she can see a pickup interaction ex- exchange here. I have here. never been picked up. 
Yes, you have. That's not a lie. Really. Yes, you have. You've been no, not picked Why up. Meaning, by like no, what I meant, you've been you've never been picked up. Sure, but you've never. But people have hit on you. Guys have not hit on you. Really, it's been a long, long. Oh, time. guys, you're such a liar. I don't believe you. Anyway, Tavi, you ready to do this? Anna. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, look at me. I'm not trying to hit on you. Hey. Uh, how's it going? Pretty good, you know. I had kind of a rough day at work, but I don't know. How's it going with you? I don't care about that. Where can I pick up some chicks? <laughs> I don't know. There's some, I don't know, girls walking up and down this block. Uh huh, uh huh. So, where are you from? Why do you want to know? This is weird. Just, I can tell from your accent. I'm curious. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm from San Diego. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. Fine, I'm from Cleveland. I knew it. <laughs> uh, Sounds like you're from San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what this voice is. I think he was, he was doing, like, English. I like it, though. You're like a, like a stoner surfer kind of... T- you're so- stoner surfer dick, right? Yeah. Well, he was, like... Ostensibly doing it for if to the English accent. Benefit. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'll like. I need to like sing three songs from Oliver to get into it. <laughs> but basically, do you want to make love to me? <laughs> my dad is J.J. Abrams. That's how it ended. <laughs> I'm not wait, even wait, joking. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, by the way, this just completely changed everything. Hang on a second. Let's stop right now. This changed everything. So, so J.J. Abrams' son hit on you. No, no, no. Hit on my friend. I'm used to being openly rude to people. So he, we, okay. we told him where to find chicks, and then he tried to be like, where are you from? And then I went, oh, I don't have time for this. And I started to go back into the rest because I'm rude. And then he was like, fuck you. My dad, you know who my dad is? You know who my dad is? J.J. Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, cool, I don't give a fuck. And then I like walked in. But the, some of those people Tommy, could be crazy. <laughs> it's so hard to talk back. That was the best. That was, end that was of, the most. Like, that was the best like, punch. Why see, we never. need to Google it. We need to investigate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is one of my favorite moments uh, that's ever happened on the show. Oh, I'm honored! Until I get, like, sued for defamation. If you tell me he has two sons. Two sons, you guys. What did your friend say? Um, when she said where she was from. Uh, I, you, you know what I would have done? What would you have done? Uh, I would have run after that car and I would have been like, then fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> JJ, yes, yes. JJ, yes, yes. <laughs> Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah. What can I do? <laughs> you know, oh, in this God. town, work is hard to get. <laughs> oh, I'm thirsty. I'm lusty. Oh, oh, please don't drive up and down the block anymore. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. We have to verify a that JJ Abrams has a son that's of age to be able to hit on women, and it's not like a, just like a thing why? he's just saying. Because it might just be like a complete lie. But why would anyone lie these days when there's everyone has a phone and they, they can just Google anyone? At this True. Point? Right. Yeah. Why do we have to verify this? It yeah. could have been a different J.J. Abrams. <laughs> He's like, my dad is Jack Joseph Abrams. I don't know. He, he had, um, like, J.J. Towing on Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys say, though, when, when he said that? When he said my dad? We went back into the bar. He was being rude. He, oh, she probably said the, abortion. Do you think, but, <laughs> do you, but do you guys, I'm asking this to all three of you, do you guys think that something like that works on women? Had I been in a, a worse state, maybe I would have been like, come back. <laughs> do, do you think it would? I hang out with like two people. I don't know what people are like. Would okay. it work on people? L- let, me ch- let me let me give it another whirl then. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. It's crazy in here tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't normally go out a lot, so. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't actually really hate this scene you know this scene like fucking sucks you know what i'm saying yeah but uh can i i don't know you seem cool can i get you a drink or anything sure and that's cool so what you're an actress or a model or what 
Oh uh, yeah, I I'm an actress and a, a writer. <laughs> writer, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I know a lot about that. My dad's J.J. Abrams. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What do you do? Oh, you know, I'm a writer, director, producer, model. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, pretty much like the whole rigmarole. <laughs> 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 I love a closed mouth laugh. <laughs> it's so sinister. Oh my God. It's so upsetting. So oh. uh, I don't know. I'm st- I'm I'm kind of staying. I'm like in between places right now. So I'm mm-hmm. st- staying at the chateau. Oh, Chateau Marmont. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's like yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Have you been there before? Or? Um, yeah, a, a couple of times just to like visit friends or, or whatever. Nice. I've never stayed there. You never stayed there. Well, no. well you gotta see the rooms. They're really cool. <laughs> uh huh. They're really, really cool. I've got this like unbelievable suite, you know? Oh. Yeah. And it's apparently where, I don't know, somebody like, somebody John, somebody like killed themselves or something cool like that. No way. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. Right. Anyway, my dad, yeah. I think, is going to be meeting me there later. So I don't know if you want to, like, maybe, I don't know, come back or whatever. And you can. Your know. dad, JJ? JJ. Um, if you want to, like, ugh, he's, like, crazy into scotch. I don't mm-hmm. know if you want, like, come back I with love me or. I love scotch. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The worst person ever. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I guarantee you it works for him. I guarantee you it works no for him. No way. I, I promise you it works for him. Uh, I know. I'm sure it does. There are, enough, there are enough women in LA where that shit works. But that's... Because when oh, Anna um, was doing it, I was literally like falling into... I, I was just totally, like... You're so... so <laughs> uh, did Jake you hear me? I was like, you, yeah, I'll come really hang like, out with you and your dad. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck about him. You're just so compelling. <laughs> <laughs> Ashet, sure. Uh, people kill themselves there. Whatever. You need to write, hey. you need to write like a pickup book for guys and how yeah. to pick up women. <laughs> the worst person ever. <laughs> it's called. Uh, Is there a phone ringing yeah, I'm gonna go or some that. such? Oh, I love it when Sim gets anxious. Because <laughs> he's always, he's always anxious. Oh, yeah, no, I don't be- believe that you don't get hit on. Oh, really? I don't think I do very much at all. What? But I also don't go out and I don't have any friends. So huh. it sort of limits the opportunity for getting hit on. <laughs> I only have friends who hit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't hit on me within a couple hangouts. I'm like... Mm, what fun is this? <laughs> okay, so we we should t- actually dive into that. Oh, if you're willing, yeah. Okay, are you single? Uh, I guess technically. <clears throat> that I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm hanging out with someone who I really like, and I don't really have any interest in hanging out with other people. Hmm. That still is totally confounding to me. <laughs> I yeah, I know I'm being decisively vague. I yeah, I'm single. <laughs> this poor person is gonna be like, no, no. oh, I know. <laughs> no, it's all good. But what about JJ's son? <sighs> the one that got away. The one that got away. <laughs> he is still staying at the chateau. Really? Yeah, his suite is mm-hmm. really expensive. <laughs> well, if it's expensive, then. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard um, there's a hot tub up there. Really? That's what I hear. Uh, <laughs> Andy's back. Yes. She can't stop. She no. won't. You're like it was me in a disguise <laughs> planting this podcast. <laughs> I, I'm not okay. gonna let you leave without talking to me about this. Or about you're what? supposed to talk to Anna about this, but okay. now I feel like you're gonna have to talk it to me about it. I know it's true. Um, I'm being so horrible. No, I. I I'm really gonna... want to know why you decided to start Rookie Magazine, and how um, old were you, first of all, when you started that magazine? Well, I started Rookie when I was 15, uh, and before that I had a fashion blog that I wrote uh, for fun, obviously, uh, that I started when I was 11. I, I read a little bit about this. What happened with the fashion blog? 
Well, I think because I was so young, people were like, oh, this 14, is 14, 15? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 11. Oh, no, 11. 11? 11. Yeah. yeah. Sorry? 11. See, this is Sim's so- listening problem, which I also have as well. <laughs> but <clears throat> and I'm gonna, I'll write it out. Okay. <laughs> Did she say 11? <laughs> yes, she said 11. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear. I didn't hear the eleven. He's okay, no eleven. JJ yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so you were eleven years old when you started a fashion blog. Yeah. And then what happened? Um, I just it was like my friend's cool older sister had one. I was just kind of copycatting her, but then I started reading other ones, and I really, I don't know. I just was into getting dressed up and wearing weird stuff and finding things at a thrift store and looking at fashion week photos and whatever but this fashion blog blew up it became a big thing yeah and I, then i mean in this grand a huge scene. thing a huge yes, thing so huge. Oh, that's nice it's Pierce. no oh. you, okay, you're, you know, kiwi's you're, known me for we've known each other for a long time yes <gasps> well what, what what was the biggest turning point when you were doing this blog um, when did you sort of wake up and say wait this is taking me out of my chicago, chicago suburban life as an 11 year old and turning into something kind of bigger and wasn't it terrifying yes i got an email yeah i got well i started it when i was about to turn 12 okay and then i that was seventh grade then that i would have like worn weird shit and then come home and taken photos and then um that summer when i was 13 um yeah by then i was 13 i got an email from the uh the editor of pop magazine, the British fashion magazine. And she was like, we'd love to fly you and a few other fashion bloggers to London. And you would do part, you would like curate a section of the magazine. I know. I like, couldn't believe it was real. It really felt like a scam, but I was like, I think this is a real person. And my parents were obviously, then I was, I talked to them and they, my dad came with me and I just kind of told them what, what the other fashion blogs I really liked. And so then those people came out, too. And we just, like, made little photo shoots together for a, a couple weeks in London. Oh, my God. That is so cool. It was, yeah. I mean, I was just dying the whole time. I was so happy. You also have to look at pictures of her at this at this point in life too. Yes, you may have I've seen some I've seen angel. some amazing photos. Glasses. Angel, I'd go with like elf, <laughs> elf. gnome, yeah. yeah. Um yeah, I just liked that part of it. I don't know. And then but then when I was there, she was like, "We'd like to put you on the cover of the magazine." And I remember my dad talking to one of the editors about it and being like, eh, what do you think?" cuz he was all the, this editor was also a parent. My dad was like, what would you do? Just getting different points of view. And he was like, well, fame is not, it doesn't mean anything, but it can give you a control and like choice. Um, and maybe in that way it would lead to good things. So then I was photographed for the cover and then it came out. Oh my God, that is so cool. It was pretty, it was wild. And I think, and I felt like I, like on the shoot, I could like choose what I wanted and wear the, all the weird things I was excited about. Like none of it felt like I was being molded. Well, you've by been well known and famous because uh, you have a point of view. Huh. And I think that that is something that's, um, a different definition than some other, you know, like a lot of other sort of famous people, but you've, you, stood out because you had this incredible independence and it, that's really hard to have. And mm-hmm. I just admire you for your strength. Don't know why you're not fucking JJ. <laughs> son. Cause he that's does really have a nice sweet <laughs> right at the uh, chateau. chateau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the first, like the first time I got hate, so to speak, like in, on a, in an article, not just like whatever commenters, which was pretty easy to disregard. But the first time there was like negative press, shall we say. My dad was, my dad gave me the short story. I don't know who wrote it, but it, it's called Claudine's Book. And it's about a girl who keeps a journal and then her like aunt finds it and turns it into a book and then tries to take credit for it. And then instead of being like, no, I wrote that. She just kind of, she whistles a victory march and goes back up to her treehouse. 
And I think that was my dad's way of saying, like, you can leave whenever you want. That there was something to protect that was more important than kind of worrying about staying relevant or doing this or doing that. I think, I I mean, my parents are not people who would have ever conceived of, like, having children who would, like, be into these, like, go to Fashion Week or whatever. So I think for them... They were very protective but supportive and, you know, like we would go to a a crazy party at Fashion Week where people are literally doing coke right next to me and my dad and I'm like 13. (laughs) And then Courtney, I just spat on the mic and it was just I like the diet stuff. Uh 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 (laughs) Uh-huh. Oh, God. Could I be more of a granny? No, it's great. (laughs) Diet, yeah, people were drinking Diet Coke, and I was like, I'm too young for this. No, but like, people were like, I I went to like some Alexander Wang party where like people in black tank tops, like with side boob, are doing Coke. But it was like me and my dad, probably pretty small side boob, right? Or big side boob? Small side boob. I I need a good visual. (laughs) (laughs) That's just like me. That's a brag. (laughs) Thanks, Dr. (laughs) Tidalbaum. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, no, I mean, but it was like I was at that party because Courtney Love was performing and I loved Hole and I wanted to see Courtney Love perform. And then my dad and I would go back to the hotel and be like, so that was weird, right? Like, did you catch this? Thing? It was all like, you know, we felt like spies. And that's also, I mean, we talked about this earlier. That's not to say I don't have like performer tendencies i don't have it's not to say i don't have parts of me that are just like purely vain and enjoy being heard and you know there's probably a reason why it was a blog and not a private diary but so there's that that struggle between being an observant or attempting to be an observant and also being heard Mm -hmm. at the same time yeah clearly i I just want to be heard because I talk all the fucking time. <laughs> Great. But you're also observant because you're at, you're bringing people and asking questions. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, you. Yeah, it's both. Totally. It's not... Uh, My I've friend wa- Kiwi grew up on a boat. I know. <laughs> yeah. Kiwi's, <laughs> Kiwi's like Yoda. <laughs> she is. She is. She is. She is. She's like that Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> She's like... All the, these people will Sweet pass. We will pass. <laughs> what did the storm troopers say to Obi Wan? I like these I know droids. anything about Star Wars. I'm like the only <laughs> guy that droids. knows nothing about Star Wars. <laughs> these droids are nothing to worry about. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I was. You got it. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> these droids are nothing to worry about. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kiwi. She is our Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after the blog, uh, yeah. then when did Rookie Magazine come about? So then, so in the, my way of understanding it is like in middle school, I, my blog was like my space. Cause I didn't really, I didn't enjoy school and I, I had friends, but I don't know if I felt super connected to them, but here I could be like creative and go on and on about the shit I was interested in. And then once I started high school, I actually liked it and I like made new friends and I went to fashion week and I think felt a little more. It's like being a spy is fun for a while, but then at some point you're like, I would like to actually connect with people. But did your friends resent you ever? Like, did you have competitive stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's like not normal. I mean, I don't know. What would it be like to like grow up in a suburb of Chicago and you have like your friend and you just do normal things together and then suddenly they're getting all this attention. I understand why it would be weird for the other person. I also understand why I would probably at some point have like disconnected from those people but then i also have friends i've known since i was two or from high school who i'm still very close to who are supportive whether they have the same or different aspirations do you want to be close to jj abrams son or no is that even a question (laughs) i really hope i really hope he has a son i really i know you we have to look this up i'm looking it up right now while but, you guys are. okay uh, great but just to get the facts for one Tabby, it, it truly it is unbelievable what you've done and that's really how nice of you smart and accomplished and cool and fucking grounded mm-hmm. through all the journey that you've been through it's remarkable and 
If you would accept me, I would like to be your friend. Anna, I would love that. I don't know. I have a lot of crazy, but I think I'm able to, like, put it in okay places and not make it an issue. It's amazing. (laughs) Thanks. Like, you you are really... I don't know. I'm. I, I don't know. I'm just so. It's. I don't. I don't want to come across as patronizing at all. No. But I'm really. I am honored to know you and thank you for being my friend. That's so nice of you. Thank you and likewise. Thanks for having me. Oh, is this the end? Is this what? the end? Do you want some of my flowers? I like. Yeah. Well, I can't. I can't find the. I, I, he has three children. Apparently, I don't know. What? I can't, it doesn't. I don't know. I can't find pictures. I haven't looked at Google oh. images yet. But um, I, I, he has three children for sure. Wait, is this his oh. family? Did you see pictures of his family? But wait, oh, if you were to pick a letter, mm-hmm. what would you have as a double? If I were to pick a letter, oh, what would I have it, as a... It's whatever your version of JJ would be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. as a double. a double? I thought you said devil. I was like, oh my God, okay. okay I know, so that so would be a oh. very weird question. <laughs> well, yeah. the question itself didn't make t- a ton of sense. Basically, what I'm asking <laughs> yeah. is, what's your favorite letter? Right, okay. <laughs> JJ does work really well. I guess Gigi would too. Oh, that's good. That's a good answer. What about you? you? Mm, I was going to go with MM. MM because is I like good. the way, but it does not roll off the tongue. It is hard. MM. 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 No. Yep. That <laughs> would be weird. It would sound like Emmett a lot. Yes. Or, like yeah. uh, It sounds like other names. What about DD? DD is good. DD is adorable, yeah. By the way, I'm really kind of I'm really kind of proud of JJ Abrams' son. I'm sorry to interrupt. What? No, I just what? found no, out. Fuck I, you. I'm uh, <gasps> I'm really happy for him because that guy has some fucking balls on him. He's born in 1998, which means Wait, that he's what? He's 18. This <laughs> guy was definitely older. <laughs> no, he has a 10 year old, and he has an he has, he has three kids. So he has a 10 year old son, and he has an 18 year old son, and he has a daughter, which means that the 18 year old son was the one that was hitting on you guys. This guy was definitely older. That means that he was totally lying. But JJ why Abrams' you, son, why we are you, sorry. I mean, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I could Google it and be like, no, you look about 35. Google says you're 20. What, what year is that? He's an old guy. Sorry. He's probably like, what, Kiwi, 45 18. at most? <laughs> JJ Abrams? So young. I mean, he I looks young, he doesn't 40. he? 40. Like, he's got to be 45 hey, now. Can we get a picture? Hey, girls. Oh. Yeah. I could make you. I could make you hot. St- I could make you <laughs> stars. Hey, girls. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I totally could. My dad's JJ. JJ <laughs> Abrams. So I pretty oh. much could. I don't know. I don't know if you want to be an actor or not, but pretty much could uh, get you cast in like pretty much anything you want. You oh. know? Or get you some new tires down <laughs> on Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tires. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so wait. Now is it break? Um, no, we're gonna wrap it up. So Sim does this funny, crazy symbol. <laughs> where he swirls his pointer finger around. <laughs> but but yeah, before you wrap it up, I, I mean, I, honestly, I do want to know what's what's next for you. I know I didn't really answer your question about rookie either because I kept interrupting well, you. Now okay. I, I, you know what? Here's the thing. Okay. Everyone, just Google her, <gasps> Wikipedia her, go we on the rookie we mag. Do but we do have a cute, do have I a am cute, gonna shut up. We do have a cute story about how Tavi came to. LA. Yeah. Yes. No, I want to hear the cute story. Tell us about your cute story. I hear you have a cute story about how you came to LA. <laughs> Anna, what are you doing? No, I'm just I just wanted to transfer. I'm gonna sit no. right here. That's what I was trying to do. You can't hand your you can't hand your microphone over to Otherwise I'm gonna we, talk. Then talk. But we it's love your it. show. You're supposed okay. to talk. I'm Can the I one that say? said I wasn't gonna talk. Guys, guys God damn it, I've been talking so I'm I'm so annoyed with myself. And now I'm annoyed with you. What? I'm annoyed with you too. Because you just handed your mic over to Kiwi. You never should have done that. <gasps> oh my god! Everyone, everyone, with some mic. Fuck oh, you! I have to put some power. Oh, she's leaving now. Look now. See what you did? Now our guest is leaving the OP. We're taking. We're taking a, we're taking a break. We're taking a break. <laughs> hey, we're back from our break. You know. Um, <laughs> Um, okay, so apparently we're supposed to wrap it all up. Uh, Sim, will you guide us through this soon. process? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, once again, Sim is uh, pointing around his pointer finger, mm. whirling it around. Do it again? What is that exactly does that mean? Does it mean tornado? Does it mean sort of hurricane? It means sort of, or you're getting I'm dizzy. Finger around. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this means we're supposed to wrap it up. It's a sexual technique. <laughs> 
J.J. Abrams' son, if you're listening. <laughs> That's Tavi. how you do it. <laughs> um, Kiwi, will you say hi again? Hello, and, and thanks for, for uh, making this all happen. It's, these are two of my favorite ladies ever in the world, you guys are. So hi. it makes me really Kiwi, happy. To thank you for making this happen, because yeah, if it wasn't Kiwi's for you, you would, this wouldn't have happened. Um, constellation she, maker. What? She is. Mm-hmm. She is. Um, and Tavi, thank you so much for being here. And if I could, if it weren't illegal, <laughs> I would put a bag over your head and haul you up to the attic. <laughs> Which is what I like to do with my most favorite people and keep them there for a very long time. If you hear any thumping from upstairs, don't be worried. <laughs> I'm, I know it's good news up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty comfortable, you know. Yeah. Put an Atari in. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest technology and when we emerge we don't know what year it is you don't emerge that's a wonderful oh. thing oh good thank Yay. you Anna. Oh, this thanks. was a blast so you can follow us on at unqualified on all social media except for snapchat we're gonna get there soon please subscribe on itunes leave us a review we love reading the reviews and this seems so unnatural whenever i say it because anna refuses to say it Fuck you, Sim. <laughs> Not that. Oh, what? Let's okay. okay Anyways, follow Tavi, us on Instagram and social media and blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. blah. Tavi, Tavi, where are you on on all your social oh, media? I'm on Twitter and Instagram as Tavi Tool T U L L E. Okay. Childhood nickname. T- t- can't change it now. Whatever. And follow Rookie at um, Rookie Mag. Great. Yeah. Rookie Mag. Yeah. Rookie Mag is where Which we didn't get. <laughs> I'm sorry, I stopped you. No, I was just about to sing a beautiful song, that's all. <laughs> you don't know about my singing voice? This is like un- uncharted territory. <laughs> I want more. Yeah, what's your favorite musical? Oh, jeez. I know, um, now we're getting into this. I know. So hard. I know you have to go. The first thing that came to mind, if I thought about it, I'd probably have a maybe different answer, but the first thing I thought of was Bye Bye Birdie. Oh. Yeah. How do you like what that? Was that? What was the song that they sing when they, um, don't they call each other? Yes. Hi, Nerds. Hi, Nerds. What's the story? Sorry. Morning when Glory. glory. What's the, the word? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Tell me Did quick. Did you hear I'm about like, Junie and <laughs> Slam or what? <laughs> <laughs> Junie and Slam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tavi, thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you. I love even you, Sam. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you too, Kiwi. I love you guys. And Kiwi, your thing is Kiwi loves you, right? Yes, I'm only on Aww. Twitter though. Yes, I don't have many platforms. So uh, nice. Well, it's everyone sad. loves you. Everyone, we but all we'll love each other. We'll be obsolete in three years. What are any of us doing? <laughs> 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 yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Your conversation with Tavi, I'm not going to talk at all. Sim, first of all, I love it, A, when you talk, number one. Yes. And number three, please talk. I feel like this episode... I love it when you say I feel like... I love it when you start a sentence <laughs> saying I feel like... Well, we're, we're so lucky and honored to have her here, and I feel like this is a conversation that just you two should have. I don't... No games... 
no outside no fun. rabbit. Mm-hmm. No, f- no one will be laughing. No, I want you guys to have no, fun, yeah. but oh. it <laughs> needs to be just this conversation because because you are because she's really fascinating, and everyone in our audience wants they want to hear. They already know about her, obviously, but they want to hear more. Aww. And I feel like if the two of you talk without me interrupting, it's going to make for a better podcast. Sim is episode. scared of women. I think. Oh, I could tell. <laughs> uh, I had no, I got no intimation of that now. <laughs> okay, so wait, Tavi, thank you, first of all, so much for being here on this, like, weird, weird ass Sunday. Thank a you Sunday, for like, me. filled with ash and heat here in Los Angeles, and mm. it's odd, but I'm really happy you're here. Thank you. Nowhere I'd rather be. Thank you. Wait a minute. There's got to be a place you. Might okay. Rather as be. soon as I said that, I knew it was hyperbole. <laughs> no, this is so fun. I don't already. know any three syllable words like that. <laughs> Wait, that is hyperbole. Four syllables. Yeah, yeah, Fuck. yeah. No, no, no. They're in there. <sighs> they are. Mm-hmm. Where? How do I tap into them? You go to the de- you go to Burning Man. Oh. Okay, wait. Take is that a fantasy? Is that a no, fantasy? I don't think I would do well at Burning Man. Why? I I need a lot of alone. You don't time. like to barter. <laughs> <laughs> is it, it right? It's all a barter system. That's what I hear. I've never been. But we think oh about gosh. the things we could do. We could bring these candles. We could mm-hmm. bring like that pineapple thing, and we could go to Burning Man. <laughs> And we wouldn't have to necessarily sell our, our vaginas, although I think uh-huh. yours would be more worth than mine. Well, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say the one one really bad advertisement I heard for Burning Man from like a I was like at a dinner party, not to brag, <laughs> and there were, there was like a couple there that where they were really trying to sell it to us, and they were like, it's like a music festival without the music. <laughs> Like, so just that's best, all best the bad both. parts yeah <laughs> revocation so i clearly but mostly to go to big sur um but i i have a lot of pals here and i think being able to like drop in see my people do the stuff i like to do and then leave is good but there have been times when i've stayed here for like a month and a half and i go to random soul sucking things that make me be like oh this whole city's terrible and it's like well the whole city isn't like that one house but places like my house <laughs> <laughs> but no but I, but I no I don't mean to joke like really I've I don't know what do you mean cuz I I'm trying to sort of work this out in my brain to how mm. much I love I love elements of the city but there's also repellent things yeah but is it like somebody's obnoxious party that you So um Again, a lot of dinner Fishing parties, a lot gossip. of parties. I'm not trying to say I go to a lot of cool functions, but I do. No, yeah, we've got Tabby here. And she's a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like the non-party animal part of me that like struggles so much, and it, it it like makes you feel like there's something wrong with you when it's actually like no, you just don't have to be here. It, which is not to say that I'm like s- even a super thoughtful person. It's just that I can't be my like basic basic level of thoughtful in a a large group you are an incredibly thoughtful person thanks i was hoping you would say that. (laughs) i just think well okay earlier we were talking and we were like save it for when we're recording but you were like a lot of people say la is fake i don't think it's fake that is really broad but i think it's largely image based and i think it's difficult to like feel like you're consistently operating on the surface level we were all talking a little bit earlier like you just said about the idea of la being fake and how i've sort of struggled with that definition a bit because i want to know if a i am fake Mm -hmm. which i kind of think i am what sort of what would that even mean (laughs) i think it means that i uh, might be comfortably numb um look life is hard we all need to numb ourselves that's why there are like drugs (laughs) drugs <laughs> and movies and like things to make us happy i think though that the surface level can be good sometimes a lot of people in our industry move here from other places mm-hmm. and so there's a hustle and sort of struggling like with the idea of of um 
how somebody is suddenly of more value to you because they have found success mm-hmm. than before, you know, like a year ago or whatever, like right. just, just it, 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 how it, that's in and of itself is unfortunate, but it's also kind of the essence of, of what we do because we have to be sort of entrepreneurs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we have to sort of figure out, well, there's like yeah, the okay. IMDBification of people when you're introducing them, like, yeah. oh, here's this person and here are these credits. But then to your point, it's like also celebrating their accomplishments. Like they've managed right. to work their way through and they've actually achieved these things and they have mm. this body of work behind them. But it's also right. can be gross as well. It can be gross, but okay, so I want to let ourselves off the hook because I am yeah. so guilty of being attracted to accomplished interesting of course they're shiny yeah Yeah. and but but there is a valid there's a grossness to it but there's also a reality to it that Mm -hmm. people who i'm of course drawn to creative interesting rich 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 (laughs) 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 oh i just want to suck a lot of dicks (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, hey, I think mommy. <laughs> you said like it's part of the essence of what we do but i think it's also not i don't think it's just the essence of this industry i think it's the essence of america america our current celebrity culture it's like also just very animal and primal to be drawn to the people who seem like they're in the best position and like they'll mm. survive the longest but I also think, again, L.A. being image-based, it's like we're in an industry where there isn't really a clear line between the personal and the public. So you can't really know how much you're drawn to someone because of who they are as a person and how much is because of their work. But also a lot of who they are as a person comes into their work. And that's great to respect that and appreciate it, like you said, um, Kiwi. So I don't. what were you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say... You are so intelligent and well spoken, but also my eyes were glazing over a little bit because you're so beautiful. Oh my god! <laughs> Which gives me maybe the fake. Finally, we get to the real. <laughs> I mean, you have this conversation. Like cheekbones till tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Gosh. Okay, let's talk about virginity. <laughs> oh, no, 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 abortion. Abortion. <laughs> Yay, back to abortion. Sim loves us. Like, Sim, in his head, he's like, editing, 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 oh my God. editing, oh my God. editing. No, but you know what? This is why, like, I think it's good for me to, like, love dissecting it. I think for a while, I would, like, there was a part of me that really felt like I was selling my soul if I found myself, like, getting comfortable on a photo shoot. And to actually be at a point where you're like, all right, there are things I can do that can help my career and give me more freedom to do what I want creatively, et cetera. Plus also like there's vanity there. I can't deny that. But to also be able to take this anthropological point of view. But you're right. It's like like helpful. Acceptance of vanity is something that we've been kind of instructed to not do yet Mm -hmm. must do. Like you have to have a social media profile. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. but no, but also thinking about like photo shoots and mm-hmm. thinking about you know when a photographer is like, well, look sexy or try to try to <laughs> try to look sexy, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do it. I don't know how to make that face, but I know that I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to like acknowledge that that the confusion between sort of acknowledging the idea of vanity but also attempting to dismiss it is really fucking hard shame doesn't help like i i would feel such shame if i was like oh i'm finding myself enjoying this like photo shoot or something i was recently on a a shoot humble brag or just brag brag (laughs) with um grace coddington and i was like oh Oh my god oh i know Uh, like complete icon godmother i want can I book you for a photo shoot? Whatever you want. <laughs> really? <laughs> Please. It's going to be here in my weird fucking dining room. <laughs> Great. That's all I want. All this weird shit that it makes no sense. <laughs> anyway, okay, so sorry. I didn't no, mean not to. Love I the did decor. Not use her. The urns are very nice. questions <laughs> about the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, 
So Grace was like, I was saying like, oh, I used to feel like I was betraying my inner, I don't know, Holden Caulfield, who's really just a cynic. Um, but like, if I enjoyed a photo shoot, or if I, and she was like, no, it just makes for a better photo. And I think to some extent, as an entertainer, like last night I saw the Muppet movie, <laughs> and like it starts with like Kermit on a bog. And, like, this guy being like, you should go to Hollywood and audition. You could make millions of people happy. And he's like, make millions of people happy. I need a good visual. <laughs> last night, were you in Palm Springs last night? No, no. I was at the Hollywood oh. Forever Cemetery. Oh, oh okay. Showing it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Ernst, get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ernst. Uh -huh. Ernst. <laughs> Ernst. Muppets. It's all coming together. I'm not yeah. a great... I'm like a... I'm like Sim. I don't listen. No, uh, please. I will go on and on. <laughs> I just, all, the only me. red flag is abortion. That's the only thing I hear. Just like mm -hmm. Sim. Yeah, so I was at the cemetery <laughs> watching Abortion, the Muppet movie. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppet movie about abortion. Um, all of this is just to hey, say. Hey, the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> um, with Jason Siegel. <laughs> But it was like, yeah, it was the old one where like, it's a very Faustian setup. Like Kermit's on a bog, and a guy's like, "You should go become a star. You could make millions of people happy and become rich and famous." But Kermit's like, "Huh, make millions of people happy." And part of me was like, mm, "You don't also want to be rich and famous? Like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure a lot of people want that." But I feel like part of I don't know, part of just kind of submitting to the like. I'll be a good entertainer. I'll make this photo shoot fun. I'll like, I don't give the people what they want. You're like agreeing to do a kind of watered down version of who you are, but sometimes it makes people happy. Which mm. also sadly also kind of makes me happy, I guess, if other people are happy. Are sure. Happy right Am I now? happy? I feel like <laughs> our dear friend Kiwi is here yeah. also. And she is, one of my best friends, but that is such a lame thing. I w we need to come up with some better words yeah. because, <laughs> but, um, Kiwi wrote house bunny, um, mm -hmm. with, uh, our other dear friend, Karen. And, but we were, uh, so you re might remember the gorge of course, right? So there's this, um, crazy music, uh, venue, I guess. I feel like you might need to put on headphones and come join this. Yeah, please. you need to be part of this. Yes, uh, you have to. There's no way we like. I I want to talk about a couple of gorge experiences, and there's no way that you can. I can't continue. Kiwi, you, can just, you can take my mic because I'm not talking. I already said I'm He's not talking. Scared of women. I'm I'm afraid of women apparently, and I'm not going to talk. So you can just take my mic. He is. Okay, so at the gorge. Sorry to make this all about me, but I did try to sell weed. Which was rolled up grass, like I picked grass <laughs> and tried to sell it to these little kids. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't work. Their older brother came after me. Oh, for the ten dollars that I sold the rolled up. When? Literal. What? How old were you? Oh God, way too old. <laughs> <laughs> this was on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sir. This was on Closer Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> but I was yeah, just thinking about like what I could add of value to uh, mm -hmm. Burning Man. I ju I'm not the personality type. I couldn't handle it. Could you, Kiwi? It, it's it's too dusty. Mm -hmm. I think there's not enough showering, and I think vegetation. Mm -hmm. It's you know it's dry, and then the whole dust bowl sand storms thing happens that seems really stressful isn't it? i could only do it in a very high level <laughs> airstream trailer i think right if burning yeah. man was in like a mansion mm -hmm. <laughs> yes it would work for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I i think that there are those things that sound better than they are like you see mm -hmm. these glamorous pictures of woodstock of these sexy people like skinny and stoned and they're just like I don't know. They're, they're like in the rain, but they're in their, their bikinis and they're nude or whatever. Yeah. And they're just like loving the music. And for me, that would have been like a good 20 minutes. Right. And then the rest of the time I'd be like, I, I, oh God, this is, no. where do I poop? Yeah. I don't know, like what to do. I, right. And then also that guy is actually like. Kind of Come with me to my <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> there's like a lot of underlying. Free love was convenient for some and not others. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, let's talk about abortion. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a good one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sim loves it when I talk about abortion. Love it. <laughs> um, okay, so wait. So how do you, do you like L.A.? What are your thoughts? Huh. Um, I like visiting L.A. I mean, I chose it 